Thank you for the incredible response for yesterday's Starfield video where we go over the post-launch content support Bethesda is planning for Starfield. And today we have some more news including a PC partner who is planning to make Starfield look incredible with upscaling technology and we have a petition for Starfield to make its way to PlayStation. The following stories, most of them, are found on Game Rant so let's get into it with the AMD partnership now starfield has announced that amd will be its exclusive pc partner for the highly anticipated release this year amd claims that it has worked alongside bethesda to optimize starfield for ryzen 7000 series processors as well as radeon 7000 series graphics this means that some of the best amd gpus on the market will experience much improved performance in game the video confirms that this won't just affect pc gamers either the Xbox Series X uses AMD components, so it should result in better performance for the console. Hopefully, the game retains such a strong performance on both Intel processors and NVIDIA graphics cards, as it would be a shame for some users to be left behind. Now, Todd Howard even spoke on the upscaling and the fact that the game should look and run great on the Xbox Series X. And you can watch that video on the AMD official YouTube channel. This is absolutely great news because we know that starfield got one-on-one -on -one attention with amd team to make this game run exceptional on the pc and xbox series x so it puts a little bit more ease into the fact that the game will be running at 30 frames per second but it should feel great now we know starfield is going to be insanely huge but i just wanted to give a little update on the fact that the Fallout London mod will be changing its release date from September to the fourth quarter of 2023, being either October to December time. It's a great move by the Fallout London team as all eyes and hands will be on Starfield, but if you want to carry on that Bethesda-style game experience with something new and want to move to Fallout, you can do that after you've played a lot of Starfield by the time fallout london mod comes around now speaking of mods we spoke in yesterday's post launch content support video about how mods are going to carry the game for the next 10 plus years and we got this interesting article from game run that i just want to touch on here speaking on how starfield will be a modder's paradise now todd howard confirmed that official modding tools will be facilitated to modders as well as half of over the top 10 largest modding communities on both Nexus Mods and Mods DB, the two biggest websites in the niche, revolve around Bethesda games. There's little doubt that Starfield will enjoy a massive influx of unofficial content from the moment it hits the market. The modding floodgates are expected to open with simple weapon and equipment additions as well as bug fixes. Regarding bug fixes, some veteran Bethesda modders have already confirmed plans to to release a community patch that will address any major bugs in the initial version of the game. Remember that a lot of these mods will be available on both Xbox and PC so it's exciting to just get that confirmation that of course these modders have massive massive plans for the mods on Starfield already which will be absolutely game changing. But do you know what else is game changing but in a bad way? Digital codes and not just digital codes but the fact that you're going to replace a physical disc with digital codes. Now we got a official tweet from Bethesda stating that none of the physical editions of the game will have an actual game disc, which I absolutely hate. Now the Bethesda tweet read, Hello, all physical editions include a code for the chosen platform. There are no physical discs. Now this was by at Bethesda support. Now the tweet was taken down, but it seems this may be the direction Starfield is going in and other games will follow suit. It seems we are getting closer and closer to the non-existence of physical game discs. If it's already starting now, then I can see the next Xbox and PlayStation 6 maybe not having game discs at all. I hope, I really hope that this is not the case, but with new releases, it's getting harder and harder to find stuff for certain physical releases too now let's go on to the playstation now there's a petition for starfield to be made a playstation 5 exclusive now this is kind of a troll stay um it's a troll petition made by a user and the reason why they have 
made this petition is because they claim that the game would indeed perform better and run better and sell better on PlayStation and then incorrectly spells Phil Spencer with two L's, Spencer's name when specifically calling the head of Xbox out for taking them away. It's just a funny little story that you can read on Game Rant, but it's even more funny because apparently Sony were actually pushing for Starfield to become a PlayStation 5, probably timed one year exclusive, before Xbox bought Bethesda. Now let's move on to Outpost building and the fact that Outpost may be huger than expected with Reddit user PackDog1141 noticing something in the 40 plus minute showcase during the section about how to customize the player's Outpost. As one of the Outposts is being built, in the bottom left corner of the screen it's revealed that despite the many sections of the base that have already been built, only 10% of the build limit is being used. This is a major improvement compared to some of the Bethesda's other games featuring base building, PackDog1141 posted their finding on Reddit and pointed out how huge these areas may be in the final game. But the response to this in his comment section may burst the bubble of some of the fans, according to GameRant. Keep in mind that interior decoration might add to the build limit as well, and from that, we may see that this overbloats that 10% limit. But of course, we won't know anything about this. Only the developers know how far, how long, how far and wide does this build limit stretch to, which we will find out when the game is released for the five days early access with the premium and collector's edition. Speaking of editions, we got that beautiful, beautiful Xbox Starfield limited edition controller with also a Starfield limited edition headset, which I have no real interest in that headset, but it still looks decent. But a fan by the handle Dreamer360X made some amazing looking Starfield Xbox Series X special edition console designs that I think need to be available or need to be created by Xbox for the Starfield release as a special edition console bundle. So far, the only limited edition special Series X console we got was the really well done Halo 20th anniversary console. And I don't think we've even had a PS5 special edition yet, but that's going to be it for this video and I'm so so glad that we get that AMD special access to the Creation Engine 2 to make it as great as possible on not only PC but the Xbox 2. I'm very very excited for the future of Starfield. I'm very very excited for all this new news. This AMD partnership, the Outpost may be being bigger than ever expected and the post launch content support which you can go ahead and watch that video right now. I'll leave it in the description and the comment section below and if you enjoy these Starfield videos I'll try to do my best to make a lot more. I'll do breakdowns, I'll do things that you may have missed but we also talk about the Elder Scrolls 6 on this channel which I'll leave videos to in in the description and comment section below we talk about ghost recon we talk about the future of the star wars games and just the amazing amount and incredible amount of star wars games that are in development right now we've got so much games to talk about so much rumored games so go ahead and watch those videos on the channel if you like far cry if you like ghost recon if you like splinter cell go ahead and subscribe to the channel too i'll leave a lot of these videos in the description and comments thank you so much for watching peace out god bless i'll see you in my next videos take care guys I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind